the power controller controls the power of motors. To demonstrate the power controller, what we will do is we have a blower motor here. That's a little blower, and the motor to the left of it is just sucking air in and out the other side. So this is just designed to blow air. When we turn it on, you'll see the amount of power that's being consumed in this motor, and you can, as you can see, it is definitely blowing air. So it is functioning now. The motor to the left of the blower is taking power from the wall, far more than it really needs. And if you look, there's a, uh, the voltage is 119 volts. We've got just under 6 amps as far as the amperage, and we're right at 350 watts of power. So without any power controller at all, that's what this is saying we have to have in order to blow that air. Let's see what happens, though, if we use a power controller. The power controller is in the upper left-hand side uh, of the motor operation, and it's shedding power. You can see it doing the function right now. It's lowering the volts, the amps, and the watts, and it forces the motor to use no more power than it needs to do the exact same job. The real power needed to do the job is 75 volts. You see there, it's about 75 volts. We're using about three and three quarters amps. If you look there, it's under four. And uh, actually, we're only using about 225 watts. That's 125 watts less for more than a third of the power saved in this mode. So as you can see, it's uh, now saving about a third of the power to do exactly the same job because the power controller won't let it have it. And you can see it is blowing air. So it's blowing air just like it did before if you were to measure this the same function.